By whatever standards it is judged, Wesley Winfield Hall has had an extraordinary life. Cricket was its focal point, but its energy and enthusiasm encompassed more, much more. For a decade, he was one of the fastest and finest fast bowlers the game has known, collecting 192 wickets in 48 tests and spearheading the attack when the West Indies could first call themselves world champions. At Brisbane in December 1960, and at Lords in June 1963, he delivered the last dramatic over in two of the most dramatic matches Test cricket has ever known. As the rigours of his role took their toll and ended his playing days, he became a coach and mentor to rising stars. He rose to be manager and selector of the great West Indies teams of the 1980s and eventually became president of the West Indies Cricket Board. Even with such demands, he served as head of personnel at two of the Caribbean's largest companies and entered politics in his native Barbados in his 40s. He served 10 years in the nominated Senate and another eight as an elected member of parliament and government minister. On the lighter side, he organized and led a band in Barbados's annual Kadumant Festival for several years and was briefly a racehorse owner whose son, Sean, became a top jockey and trainer. Later in life, Hall turned to the Christian Pentecostal Church, the legacy of a deeply religious background, and became a minister of another kind, an ordained pastor. <laughs> 